Hey guys, my name is Julia Norman and I've participated in the Real Life Science Video Competition with Cara Atwood and Evie Scanlon. Our project is under the topic of space and me. How does a rocket get its power? How exactly does a rocket get its power? Isaac Newton worked out the solution and shared it with the public in 1687. A rocket needs fuel and a lot of force to power it. For example, hydrogen, nitric acid and liquid oxygen can be used as fuel. A rocket contains over 3 million parts, but in more simpler terms it has four. It contains the structure, which is the framework that holds the rocket together. Next is the propulsion system, which is home to the fuel tanks, engine and other rocket boosters, which is how the rocket will take off. Next is the guidance system, which is a navigational section that steers the rocket to its location. Lastly, the final section is the payload, which is where us three would be in a spacecraft. You're probably wondering how exactly a rocket could contain enough energy to take off. Since a rocket needs a large amount of force and energy to take off, hot air is produced and pushed out the nozzle at the base of the rocket. This is how it works as a vacuum. The force that pushes a rocket upwards is called thrust. Once a rocket gains enough power, the thrust force pushing it upwards will be bigger than its own weight, pulling the rocket back down towards the ground, causing it to climb the sky. The thrust acts on the pull of gravity, creating an even stronger force. The thrust also is to fight against air resistance, which makes the force stronger. As the rocket accelerates, it creates kinetic energy, which helps it escape the Earth. Does it just float in space? As the rocket gets closer to the atmosphere of the place we call home, the rocket has enough force behind it to carry the rocket the rest of the way, and the rocket boosters detach and fall back down to Earth like a parachute. As there is no gravity in space, the rocket can't fall back down to Earth. The fuel tank contains enough energy to manoeuvre the spacecraft around space. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed!